Here we are at the um, Utah State University Library for some interviewing to ask people if they believe that men and women can be just friends. Um, so let's go inside and see what we can find. Do you believe that men and women can be just friends? Yes. Yeah, of course. Yes, I do. Yeah. 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 Um, I think <laughs> it'd be hard to do. Yes. I mean, we're all men, so of course we're going to have those feelings, and we can we can be content with just friendship, but and we can be silent regarding those feelings, but we're gonna have them. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. 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 Yes. Yes. I, I don't believe so. No. <laughs> I guess what I'm saying is no. <laughs> okay. okay, we'll walk with you. Do you believe men and women can be just friends? Um, yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, do you have any guy friends right now who you're just friends with? Yeah, oh yeah. Um, all my best friends are guys. Dave. Trevor. Trevor. Taylor Mulford. Bobby. Yeah. How long have you known Trevor? Two years. Of those guy friends, do you think any of them secretly like you? And be honest. Probably, yeah. Do you think that guy is interested in you? Yes. <laughs> okay, maybe you can only be just friends in high school, because most guys won't just be my friend. Would Dave hook up with you if, if you gave him the chance? Well, yeah. Do you think Trevor <laughs> liked you? Yeah. And <laughs> Would he hook up with you if you wanted to hook up? Yeah. So he likes you. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is men and women can't be friends. No, we can be friends. But you're just friends, but he likes you. Yes. <laughs> it's a one-sided friendship. That was one instance. Uh, if she wanted to hook up, would you hook up? Oh, totally. Look at her. Don't be sarcastic. I need the truth. Seriously, yeah. All right, there we go. All right, that's perfect. Okay, cut, cut. Because of physical attraction, it's not possible. But you said, I just want to be just friends. Yeah. Now, do you literally believe that he's not interested in you at all? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes! That's what I'm talking about! As we can see, uh, after interviewing everyone in the library, um, it is impossible for men and women to be <laughs> just friends. <laughs> And under no circumstances can it happen. Um, that's a wrap. I think I think he deserves a round of applause. Yes, I uh, I think I'm going to try to argue that he's right. Well, basically, I think that the talk is not so much about the three movies by John Carney, but rather this final piece is there, and whether there might be some exceptions to to his thesis. You know, I mean, his thesis is no, Then we'll explore whether there might be some exceptions. But let me first uh, thank Sophie and Crystal. Sophie, the person who gave the title to this talk, what you mean to me, etc. Crystal, the recent winner of the. Notre Dame Film Fest, Festival, as you might know. And uh, thank you too to the Irish Rover for making this opportunity possible. And to all of you for being here, especially to the two babies that are here. <laughs> Probably preparing themselves, these two small girls, for all these future interactions <laughs> the ones we've seen. Let me start by saying that uh, whatever uh, there is of truth in what I'm going to say is surely either the result of chance or age and experience or and the grace of God. And whatever is wrong is because I am a law professor. <laughs> so if you saw the posters, probably struck you as a bit absurd that a law professor would be talking about such important things. One would think that 
the law is for banality and technical stuff. Let me also clarify that I will speak here as if there was any need to clarify it, as a man, not as a woman. But many of the things I will say whenever I refer to a woman, if you are a woman, you can think of a man. But to avoid clarifying that each time, you know. Right. Also, by way of introduction, there will be many spoilers in this talk. So if you don't want to know about how some movie or other finishes, you can leave the room right now. <laughs> At the same time, I will say that the movies, and especially these three movies by John Carney, an Irish director, these three excellent movies, they won't feature very much in my talk. My talk will be about the, the problem, the guy, was talking about and the movies will be like an accident or an excuse to help me answer the question are what I will call mixed friendships possible is it possible for guys to have girlfriends and girls to have guy friends is it possible to be just friends well my thesis is very extreme and perhaps it is wrong, but of course I think it is right. <laughs> and that is that the only type of mixed friendship which is inherently stable is marriage. All the rest are inherently unstable. They have in them the seeds for the, the destruction of that friendship at some point in the future. A destruction that perhaps will never happen, but the seeds are there. <coughs> of course, this is not to say that marriage is otherwise necessarily stable. It can be unstable as a result of other reasons and problems. What I'm saying is that the circumstance of the two parties being of different sexes does not provide the, the lack of stability that it does provide to other mixed friendships. I also must clarify that although marriage, as I think, is the only stable kind of mixed friendship, it is still different to friendships between two persons of the same sex and it has complications that are absent in the friendship between two guys or two uh, girls and these complications have to do precisely with the let's call it the sharing of a bed which doesn't happen normally in the others I refer to but it is true that um, marriage friendship and let's call them regular friendships between guys and guys, women and women have something in common that is of the essence of friendship and that is that they allow the unleashed sharing of everything which is exactly what cannot happen in my view in a mixed friendship. So insofar as someone has a mixed friendship, if that friendship will endure, it will be because there is a permanent exercise of checking and control that doesn't need to feature in the same way when we're talking about a married couple or when we're talking about two guys or Two girls. That will be my theory. The sharing when it comes to marriage or to a friendship between people of the same sex is only limited by circumstances, by contingent circumstances. But there's nothing that the person will have to deliberately withhold from sharing, which is exactly the opposite, as I will try to argue, of what must happen with a mixed friendship if the person doesn't want it 
to be transformed into a potential romance. Right. Sharing. Sharing. The idea of dosing the verb for the noun dose, as in the doses in a, for a medicine, is the key to understand the situation of someone who attempts to have a mixed friendship. The presence of a woman for a man, and vice versa, as I said earlier, is something very enriching, very important for everyone, and therefore it is natural that a man will, would, will like to have mixed friendships, will like to have women in his life that he can consider friends. And in this sense, these friendships will be like honey or like sugar. These are good things, but if you take a lot of those good things, this is bad. And here comes the idea of dosing. You see, it's not unleashed. It's not like with true friendship. It's always, okay, I will share with you the books I like up to a point. So, for example, the splitter, in Begin Again, one of our three uh, movies today, is very useful to understand this. As Mar 